What's going on guys? Isaac here from Isaac's Health and Fitness. I just got out of the gym. You could see it right over there. Hopefully I'm not gonna be in that gym for much longer. But anyway, right now I'm heading to Target. I'm gonna do a grocery haul. I'm gonna show you guys how to cut on a budget. If you guys are making minimum wage and not making a lot of money, this is the video for you to watch. How to cut and get the gains. I always like starting off at the protein section and I will go for the 93% lean ground beef. It has less fat and more protein. Next up are the eggs. Target has the cheapest eggs. They're $2 for their generic brand. You got large eggs, about 70 calories each. You always want to make sure they're good and not cracked. Get yourself some eggs. Can't go wrong with that. Along with the eggs that we just got, we want to get ourselves some liquid egg whites. Again, Target has the cheapest variety. You can get them at ShopRite too. High protein, low calorie, volume eating. Okay, we're in the dairy aisle now, and I will skip the milk as I always do. I like going with half and half for my morning coffee. I try to keep it at a few tablespoons, keep the calories low. As you can tell, it's 35 calories per two tablespoons. Use a little bit of that in my morning coffee, you can't go wrong. Along with my creamer, I have to go for my other staple, which is almond milk. I will always get the unsweetened variety because it has less calories and less sugar. The cheese aisle is one I usually avoid, but I like having a little bit of shredded cheese sometimes for pasta or for my omelets. I will get the reduced fat variety, which has less calories per serving. All right, now we go on to the heavy hitter, which is chicken breast. I have not found any place that has it cheaper. You get an entire two pound bag, frozen chicken breast, low fat, high protein, $7.69 a bag. Cannot beat it. We're in the rice and pasta aisle now, and sometimes I like getting these Ben's Originals ready rice. You can pop them into the microwave, but now that I have a rice cooker, I will just grab myself some brown rice. It's not super high in calories and very filling. When it comes to having good complex carbs for breakfast, it doesn't get much better than oatmeal. This is the instant variety, lower sugar, 120 calories, tastes delicious. Another staple that's always in my freezer is having frozen vegetables, especially the steam in the bag variety, which you could see right over here. I usually get steamed broccoli, but for some reason Target doesn't seem to have them in stock today. They have a lot of other stuff here that are low in calories. You got some cut green beans, you got some corn, which I will usually skip, some cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, etc. Here I got some rice cauliflower, which makes for a delicious side dish on days where I want to keep the carbs a little bit lower, about 35 calories a cup. Here we got some cut green beans, which I'll add to any protein, and I think that'll do it for now. Everybody needs an indulgence, even if you're a bodybuilder. Here we are in the ice cream section. No, I'm not going to get any ice cream, but I will grab myself some sugar-free popsicles. This is a staple in my freezer. Make sure to get the sugar-free variety and not the regular one. This is a delicious treat with only 15 calories per bar. You can eat a few of them in the summer and enjoy yourself. We're by the self-checkout counter now. I'm going to slowly start scanning all my items. It's pretty busy up in here, but I'm going to slowly start taking everything and scanning it. Okay guys, this is the last of it, the eggs, that is the last item I just finished scanning and I got everything bagged up and ready to go. Let's put it up here and let's see what the total is. Look at that, $45.57. Check it out guys, under $50 for an entire weekly haul, $45.57. Alright guys, just got back from Target, sitting right here in my little slice of heaven. I'm gonna unpack everything and show you exactly what I got. Now keep in mind, I only spent $45. Usually it will come out to a little bit more because there's a couple more things that I usually get that I didn't get today because I didn't need to. So keep in mind, the grocery haul would usually come out to another 10 or $12 on top of what I paid today. But with that being said, I got enough stuff to last me just about a week. High protein, good complex carbs, uh, very filling and satiating food, and it will definitely help you shred and lose weight while maintaining that lean muscular physique. Let's start taking everything out nice and slowly. I'm going to put it over here on this little stool that I got. And I'll show you exactly what I got. And we can go through every item one by one before I put it away in the freezer and refrigerator. Keep in mind, guys, this is my first grocery haul video. So it may not be as professional as what some other YouTubers will do. But then again, I am a very small channel. I do this stuff with my phone. 
And my whole purpose in this channel is to educate and inform you as much as possible. I'm not looking to get too fancy with effects and transitions and music and all that other unnecessary noise. I care about the quality of the content, and I know that I'm bringing you guys the best possible content from my own personal experience. And you guys can use that information to help you with your personal life. All right, so I got everything over here. Again, I apologize for the mess. It's a little uh, hectic, but here we're going to go through everything now. So first thing we got is long grain brown rice, personally my favorite for cutting. Try not to eat more than one cup a day because rice is pretty high in calories. It's good for you, it helps you replenish muscle, it'll give you energy, but again, try to keep it to one cup or a cup and a half a day because it's pretty high in calories. So I got myself some cut green beans over here, and here I got myself some riced cauliflower on days where I wanna keep the carbs a little bit lower. Instead of regular rice, I will use cauliflower rice, which you can see has 20 calories per one cup. So this whole bag right here has about 75 calories, which is ridiculous. This yields a lot. So highly recommend you guys um, get yourself some of that. I got myself some Quaker oats over here, the lower sugar variety, maple brown sugar. My girlfriend loves these. 100 calories per 120 calories per bag, uh, four grams of added sugar, which is not a lot. So definitely you can eat one or two of these a day and it will not harm you whatsoever. I get vanilla almond milk. I switched from regular milk a long time ago. The only time I will have regular milk is in my coffee sometimes. Usually I'll use the half and half right here. Uh, this isn't exactly the lowest on calories, but I'll keep it to about four tablespoons a day top. So that brings me at 70 calories. I enjoy it. It makes the coffee more flavorful. And to me, it's an indulgence that is worth it. Uh, but for cereal and oatmeal and stuff like that, or for my protein shakes, I will always use unsweetened almond milk. I like the vanilla one. It tastes a little better. As you can see, it has 30 calories per cup. In comparison, a cup of regular milk has about 120. So... If you're drinking two cups, I mean, it's 60 calories versus 240. Just do the math and see how much you're saving. It's it's absolutely ridiculous how much you save just by switching to almond milk. And this one tastes really good. Make sure you get the unsweetened variety. Over here, we got liquid egg whites, which I like adding to my regular omelet. I'll usually use two or three eggs in an omelet, add a little bit of egg whites. As you can see, it's 25 calories for three tablespoons, really, really low on calories, and it could really beef up your protein count, five grams per serving. So you add yourself a couple of tablespoons and you get yourself a little bit more protein. Another uh, steam and bag mix. Again, like I said, they didn't have broccoli today for some reason. Usually they do. So I got the broccoli cauliflower carrot combo. Very low in calories. Tastes really good. You can mix it with some ground beef, which as a matter of fact, I have right over here. This is a little bit higher in calories, but it's 93% lean, 7% fat. So it's still got enough fat to be flavorful and satiating. But it's a little bit lower in calories as compared to some of the higher fat content. The ones we saw earlier, the 80-20 mixes, you want to avoid that. This whole thing right over here has about 640 to 700 calories. I'm not the best in math, but if you're eating this entire thing, which I'm a bodybuilder, I will, um, it's got a lot of protein. So you eat one of these for dinner with some sauteed vegetables, a little cut up onions, and you got yourself a perfectly delicious dinner. Eggs, can't go wrong, just regular large eggs, $2. I find that Target has the cheapest eggs. This right here, big bag of chicken breast right here, it's frozen. They're individually cut up, so you can uh, defrost two of them at a time. You got 20 grams of protein per four ounce serving. I will usually eat anywhere from eight to 12 ounces at a sitting. Again, I'm a bodybuilder, so I eat a little bit more. You don't have to eat as much as me, but this is a great example of a high volume food that's filling and satiating, but lower in calories. I got myself a little bit of mozzarella, reduced fat. I don't like the fat free. I know that it's lower in calories, but personally, I do not like the taste of fat free cheese. I think it just tastes like plastic. Uh, this one's a little bit lower in calories, about 20 or 30 calories less per serving, but I don't eat a lot of this to begin with. I will usually stick to the quarter cup, sprinkle a little bit inside my egg omelet. Sometimes if I'm having a little bit of pasta, which I don't have that often, but if I have some low-calorie, low-carb pasta, I'll sprinkle a little bit of this on there, a little bit of sauce, and you get yourself a good meal. Again, limit it to about a quarter to half a cup. You don't want more than that. Lastly, my favorite indulgence. Popsicles, sugar-free variety. This right here is a game changer and an absolute lifesaver. 
because I love ice cream. I've always had an addiction to ice cream. As a matter of fact, the reason I got fat in the first place was consuming two pints of haagen a night. So this right here is a great substitute. It's 15 calories per popsicle with only two grams of sugar alcohol. So it doesn't even have sugar. It has sucralose, which is Splenda. So these are sweetened with Splenda and it's 15 calories a pop. So just do the math. There's 18 in here, which is a lot. Nobody's eating 18 at one sitting. I'll be honest, sometimes I will have up to 10 at a sitting, which is a lot. But even 10, if you do the math, multiply 10 by 15, you have 150 calories. That's nothing. That's literally a cup and a quarter of milk, if you're comparing the calories. So you got 15 calories per pop. So even if you decide to indulge and eat 10 to 12 of them, you're still going to be eating less than 200 calories. That's still less than literally a quarter of a pint of haagen -Dazs. So... There is absolutely no comparison. These are delicious. You could sit and chill with them in the evening time, especially now it's really hot out. It's summer. This is a nice, refreshing, cooling snack, and you can definitely incorporate it into your diet. And that's it, guys. My first ever grocery haul video at Target. $45 for a week's worth of groceries. Like I said, there was maybe three or four items I didn't get that I normally would get, like sweet potatoes, tuna, cottage cheese, maybe a little plain Greek yogurt but I already have those items in my fridge. I didn't want to carry more than I have to. So keep in mind, between $45 and $60 a week will get you exactly what you need to get to stay shredded, to build muscle, to get in your protein, and just in general, look and feel much better. You guys want to get the guns. You guys want to have the biceps. You want to have the definition. It all comes down to the diet. You can train for four years, and you will not get results if you're going out and eating snacks and binging on fast food and drinking regular soda you guys can make little changes little at a time until you get to where you want to get to i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want more leave it in the comments and i will make more videos take care everybody until next time isaac out